Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did the Supreme Court rule Brown v. Board of Education? The case of Brown v. Board of Education originated in 1951 when Oliver Brown and 12 other African-American families in Topeka, Kansas, filed a class action lawsuit against the Topeka Board of Education. The lawsuit was prompted by the school district's refusal to allow Brown's daughter to attend the nearest white school, instead requiring her to travel to a segregated African-American school. The families argued that the segregation policy was unconstitutional because it violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. However, the U.S. District Court for the District of Kansas ruled against the Browns, citing the precedent set by the 1896 Supreme Court case Plessy v. Ferguson, which established the separate but equal doctrine. The case was then appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, where it was consolidated with four other similar cases, Briggs v. Elliott, Davis v. Board of Education of Prince Edward County, Gebhardt v. Ethel, and Balling v. Sharp. Thurgood Marshall, the chief counsel for the NAACP, argued the case before the Supreme Court. Initially, the Supreme Court heard arguments in December 1952, but did not reach a decision by the end of the 1952-1953 term. During the court's recess, Chief Justice Fred Vinson died, and Earl Warren was appointed as the new Chief Justice. The case was reheard in December 1953. On May 17, 1954, the Supreme Court issued a unanimous decision. Chief Justice Earl Warren delivered the opinion, stating that separate educational facilities are inherently unequal and thus violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. This ruling effectively overturned the separate but equal doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson. The decision did not specify a method for ending segregation, but mandated that states desegregate schools with all deliberate speed, as clarified in the subsequent case Brown the Sioux in 1955. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.